Welcome to Timeless Devotions with Classic Christianity. My sister and I would like to share a treasure we found in our mother's attic, our grandfather's writings. For over 50 years, Papa was internationally known as the preacher of the timeless Word of God. Please join us now for a five-minute devotional taken from the books, Classic Christianity, A Year of Timeless Devotions, based on the writings of the Rev. L.A. Mead. Our devotion today is entitled, Which Are You at Calvary? Our key verse is Matthew 27, 35, Then they crucified him. As we gather around that green hill far away to visualize afresh the tragedy that marked the crossroad of the ages, let us remember that each one of us is represented in one or another of the groups that met at the cross. It seems that God so arranged it that every sort of man or woman is typified in the different groups that watched him die. Study these groups and you will find your crowd there. Consider first the soldiers. They spat upon his face, pressed the crown of thorns upon his brow, and watched the blood flow down. They mocked him and nailed him to a tree, but they only administered the wounds that the sin of all the world had caused. It was you and I who spat upon him, who crowned him with the thorny wreath. It was your sins and mine that nailed him to the tree. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. The Lord indeed laid on him the iniquity of us all. When you refuse him, when you live on in sin and spurn the word of God, and reject the pleading of the Spirit, you are pressing the thorning crowd upon him. You are spitting on him, smiting, crucifying him. The scriptures also tell us that the soldiers gambled for his seamless robe. They gambled for his vestments while the crucified Christ looks on. Well, the world plays its game today at the foot of the cross. No matter where you are, you are facing Calvary. Men sit before this eternal fact, gamble away health, time, talents, reputation, and soul, while the crucified one looks on. We next read about those who passed by wagging their heads. They did not actually crucify him. They only passed by, reviling him. It is fashionable today to pass by Calvary wagging the head. Indifferent souls use the name of Jesus as a curse word. They jeer at the Prince of Glory. The word records three things of these passers-by. They misquoted the claims of our Lord and shouted, You who destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. He had not said that. He said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Then they minimized his death. Come down from the cross. They did not believe the word of God, which says the man, Son of Man must suffer many things. So it is today with the critics and blinded souls. They make light of Calvary and see no need for the atonement. At Calvary, the passers-by mocked his deity. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. Today, many deny his deity. They see a great teacher, an idealist, the crystal Christ but not the Calvary Christ. They offer praise for his words while denying the deity that makes those words truth. Oh, my friend, are you in this class of passers-by, wagging your head, minimizing his death, belittling his sacrifice, and questioning his deity? It is a dreadful thing to be a passerby at Calvary. Let us stop here for today, examine ourselves, ask God to reveal to you any wrong attitude, ask God to forgive you for the times when you take Him for granted and go out joyfully to the day knowing who your Savior is and serving Him with gratitude. Precious Holy Lord, thank you for this reminder of what you did for us at Calvary. Bring to my attention any way in which I treat your great sacrifice lightly through either omission or commission. Lord, forgive me and help me to serve you today by loving others as you love us. Amen. We hope you'll visit us online at www.classicchristianity.net. If your goals include spending time with the Lord each day, we can help. Thank you for joining us for Timeless Devotions with Classic Christianity.